the 11th of May, 2022. Hi, thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Make sure to like my official YouTube video and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. If you're gonna leave a comment, do make sure to have etiquette and respect. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com. So it has been since February of 2022, since the first time that I had seen the New York City evening skyline in person, uh, proverbially face-to-face -face in person, from a location that I would recognize and be capable to actually look at the skyline in comparison to driving. And that's obviously different. So go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com to be capable to look through several uh, different aspects of what I've been working on, including my journal blog, The Ornery PSA. So I have not hidden, I was born and raised in New Jersey. And I spent the majority of my childhood and early teenage years going throughout the state of New Jersey, as well as up to New York City, including New York State, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Lancaster as the main parts, but other areas of Pennsylvania. And there was from 1998 through 2000 in March when I had been in Illinois, and then I went to the Army, had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000 when I was at Fort Sill basic training. And I woke up in the state of Texas where I have sarcastically said that I have regrown up in the state of Texas or relearned a whole bunch. Now, in this particular reference where last year, 2021, was to the general public that did not have an actual necessary um, viewpoint of a direct actual impact of the attacks on 11 September 2001, um, and then there are others who have, and they have, they have been in a multifaceted way. So where certain individuals who were not born and raised in the area of the tri-state Northeast and or did not attend college for the four to six years to have that really condensed or a condensed version of what it is to be born and raised in New Jersey and the tri-state area um, or, and or having worked in a way that you would have to travel the tri-state area commonly which would be only certain types of employment. So it wouldn't translate, not that it wouldn't translate fully, but to a deeper level of somebody who has been born and raised in the area, you would have to have employment that would have that movement for a minimum of the equivalent of a four to six year college degree because of certain similarities. You couldn't have employment in just one location you could, but not. it wouldn't be the same connection. Not denouncing it, it's just one of those factors. There are different levels. And so while certain individuals may have had employment for longer than that in the state of New Jersey, however, they only worked in a set location, it's not the same as driving around the different areas. So certain employment such as law enforcement or fire department or EMS. And while they are in certain precincts, they do sometimes transfer around a bit more than some people in other states might understand. Then there's the additional capacity of taxi cab drivers and those situations where you get to see a larger amount of the areas. So, um, that has to do partially in reference to the attacks on 11 September 2001, though also in reference to the state of Texas. So I had warned a bunch of people that were around my age, within about an eight year, at the most younger than me, to older than me, about how this was going to go in regards of technology. 
not just in reference to certain factors, but also in regards of children. And so I was born and raised in New Jersey. My biological mother did information technology in the 1980s and 1990s. While some people within this age range of about eight years younger than me, so basically born in 1975 ish to older than me or younger than me, I should say, uh, uh, 19, oh, let me do that. Were, this is the after effects of my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. Uh, so uh, younger than me. And so if you were born in the year of like 1994 ish, um, and onward, um, you, you, you have a understanding more so than the people who are older as to that technological aspect. So I should say probably 1990 would be the eight year mark, maybe nine year, no, to be for the technology is what I'm making an attempt to refer to in, um, my knowledge base for so where older people essentially wouldn't have the understanding the younger individuals would and so but there's a time frame so basically 19 well, 1989 birth onward would have a very different view so those individuals who were born in the 1980s and up to basically 1989 you, do, you, 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 you needed to pay attention a bit more because the individuals who were older didn't necessarily understand certain things. And the individuals who were older should have paid attention in my opinion. I'm being biased, I can acknowledge that. However, that's kind of the point. So people now, when they think of information technology coding, there are so many sections in comparison to the broad overall in the 1980s in reference to my biological mother and working at Prudential and doing the information technology and those references of coding. So where nowadays in the year of 2022, it's very specified or you're put into only one or two or three projects. Back in the day of the 1980s and 1990s, you didn't have that specialization. So in those particular references, that's what I'm referring to. So the attacks on 11 September 2001 occurred, obviously. This year, 2022, in February, from the time frame of 1998, is the first time that I've seen the evening skyline of New York City and anybody who has these specifics to the tri-state area that I'm referring to understands that certain it's a certain viewpoint physically it is a certain energetic sensation that you don't get anywhere else that's just the facts and so individuals who were born and raised in New Jersey or the tri-state area. They're accustomed to certain viewpoints when moving around, but only in certain references. Well, I cannot have my biological father driving me around. I'm not the same height and all that sort of stuff. And that's common sense. So those particular factors of driving around the tri-state area and seeing it while driving is very different. That's common sense. So it has to be from a location that is a stationary location where you see it and you can actually have that not exactly same sensation, but the viewpoint, the energetic aspects. And it doesn't matter height, age, what have you, there's just a certain area. So those individuals, especially who had been in the tri-state area before 2001 and or during the time frame, but more so for a specific viewpoint, those individuals, I would guesstimate, would understand that a bit more because you have to be of a certain level. So people such as my biological sister 
yes, had spent many years, but she didn't get driven around those particular ways, similarly to the employment. So my biological mother, who, yes, had worked and gone to college in New Jersey, but didn't really go to the tri-state, tri through the tri-state area, except for with my biological father driving, there is that difference. And then there's the difference as to my biological father having had business in those particular areas, not a taxi cab driver, but having been a taxi cab driver, not having been EMS at the time, but having been EMS and all these other different situations, there are obvious differences between my biological father and my biological mother's viewpoint of the city of New York to the skyline. There is obviously going to be even larger differences between my biological sister's viewpoint that would be similar to my biological mother's viewpoint in the massively huge difference, but more closely aligned to my biological father's viewpoint, though because of not driving as a child or a teenager, the extremely different viewpoint at the exact same time. And so it is a culmination of these different factors. Now, just in that reference of 2001. I woke up in the state of Texas at Fort Sam Houston in Brook Army Medical Center. And so that particular situation is extremely different. So then you have children who were born and raised in areas such as Military City, USA. And you have the early aged ones compared to the middle aged ones and the young ones, the not yet born ones. And so I gave these warnings that I had given in New Jersey in reference to the 1980s at first. Then it was into the 1990s as to the 1993 attack. I gave warnings. A bunch of people were just, oh, what do you do? Then I got moved out to Illinois in 1998 and I gave warnings. A bunch of people had their opinions as far as certain situations. So then, because they didn't have that similarity of the 1980s and 1990s in the tri-state area. There were certain areas, but you'd maybe read about it and it didn't really impact you as far as that epidemic. And especially in the mid and south or midwest and south, they obviously weren't nearly as open as far as the LGBTQ communities along the east and west coast. For those who don't know, L stands for lesbian, B stands for bisexual, G stands for gay, T stands for trans as a generalized aspect. Q, it stands for queer. P, whether it stands for pride, plus, polyamory, pansexual, or what have you. Or I is independent and A is asexual. Just for starting points for that uh, overall alphabet soup of letters. Yeah, yeah, I saw how that was going, as far as that was concerned. Could just be the lifestyle community. But, you know, gotta have labels. That's that Democrat aspect. And so every, every what have you, that just became as it was. Nonetheless, that's, that's, the, that's the brief on that. So I had listened to uh, Fox News the other whatever hour at that point, that would give that as a reference. So then you have situations regarding um, after 2001. And sure, I, I had been honest online as I have been in person, face to face in person. And so I was in the city of San Antonio so my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister move from Illinois to the state of Texas in the year 2003 and that grouping of needless problems regarding certain situations because of how that went. Then you have Illinoisans in reference to 
2000, 2001, and 2002, and whatever updates in regards of my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister running their mouths in Illinois before the state of Texas. Then you have these situations regarding apartment complexes that I've lived in, and that sort of situation regarding those types. And then 2003, and I have my house in San Antonio, and I'm dealing with a bunch of homeowners association neighbors at the same time. And those needless problems. So, you know, um, the nosiness in those references in comparison and the lack of a right to involve themselves, but choosing to in the not needed or wanted way. So in that cul-de-sac of Pine Manor and all that. Those particular types, mm -hmm. not just in the immediate cul-de-sac for certain situations, but throughout that part of the subdivision. But since it's not that large of a subdivision, how that went and those references. And then the homeowners association on top of that. And so then you've got the ages regarding children, those references. And my son and my daughter. So my son and my daughter are obviously directly impacted because of that. I am me had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. My biological mother, biological father, biological sister don't have the common sense on that to pay attention to what they should have done instead of as they had. And then you have my ex-in-laws or soon to be ex-in-laws regarding that point in time because it was only eight years and the second and final separation occurred in 2006. However, those sets of needless problems regarding those types and those situations, then you have the different community areas as far as the San Antonio Pagan community and the, you know, Excalibur Fair, Renaissance Fair types, then the what is supposed to be a consenting adult lifestyle community, which BDSM and Swingy, and all of that cataclysmic oaks, it's just right there. Plus, of course. While the armed forces of the United States of America, certain individuals know who I am, and that's all that's needed to be known in those references at those times. But those situations in regards of certain factors. And that's at that immediate time frame. Of whatever age anyone is, all sorts of ages, all the way up to however many decades old, as young as preschool and elementary school for some. And then, so, you know, dealt with a few situations, you know, and that's just in San Antonio by the time of 2004. There's also the CID situation regarding that in reference to just the head injury that I dealt with in another state, and that, and then my medical and all that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, go run around and all that stuff because of how I wound up off a military installation. And so, you know, those particular aspects. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my other ex, so then my ex-in-laws in the DFW area, and then, you know, out in Georgia and Oklahoma combined. All in one, yes. So, those particular situations. And where I've brought forward certain things, such as during my basic training and standing up for hair in that reference, then you have, and literally other situations regarding the way classes went, because I don't know what other people think basic training is, 
and depending on where you go and what you do for basic training depends on what your training actually is. It's not as simple as every basic training is the exact same. There are certain similarities, but at the same time, not. Certain similarities just don't go across those boards. That's why there's different MOSs. Though additionally, all of the basic trainings are not the same. So where the um, Air Force has only one basic training location, Coasties, I believe, only have one basic training location as well. I know for a fact the Marine Corps has two main basic training locations. They may have a third one, but I know of two mainly. And then the Navy, if I remember correctly, has only one basic training location. The Army does not. The Army has basic training locations throughout the United States of America. Same thing with MOS or equivalent of for your employment. So in the army, it's called AIT. And so, or whatever it is, as far as that's concerned. So those particular situations where every other branch has only one location for basic training, and then wherever they're sent for their employment and specialty training, the army is not that way. Some MOSs have basic training all in one with their AIT. Others do not. As a matter of fact, about 80% do not have basic training in their AIT. They're very, I would guesstimate it's actually a lower percentage than that. I'd say it'd probably be closer to 5% or less, but that's about it. Because infantry, cavalry, combat arms, and MPs pretty much there basic training in AIT to a degree can be an all-in-one compared to, depending on what your specialties are gonna be. So, you know, if you have sniper school or recon or breacher school or, you know, airborne, um, air assault, all these different options, they're different schools. So then, you know, you have these civilians that haven't signed the dotted line and they want to talk about their degrees and stuff like that. So these guys who have these backgrounds, that's where you annoy them because you think that your degree in one school where they've gone to however many, that's, that's, that's kind of a situation because it doesn't matter whether you have the all in one AIT with the basic training and then other specialty schools, or if you have wherever you go to basic training and wherever you go in reference to your AIT, you still have other specialties that can be associated with. So I wasn't willing to do airborne as far as uh, training. I had thought air assault would be ideal because of my, for those who understand that kind of, um, CDO-ness about being in control. If I'm going to jump out of a perfectly good aircraft, I have to have a little, give you the rope and I'll, that's fine, I'll, I, I have that. It, it, I don't deny it either, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this little piece of fabric's gonna do whatever, that's nice. Sure, you have the scientific proof, yes. There's still this thing called wind. So, and the gravity still occurs, it's not the gravity, it's that sudden stop that that part, so with air assault, this is how CDO self, like self control issues that I got, I have to hold on to the rope because I will choose the speed I move. Thank you. Yes, yes, I understand there's still weather. This is my control issues to this point in time. I don't deny it. This is how I've been. I knew what I was doing when I went and I'm going to do this. You have no idea. And so this is how that's, I could do aerosol because of that. And then being logistics, well, why would you need aerosol for logistics? Well, I guess it depends on what your clearance background would be. If you needed to haul some extra stuff for some guys, you know, not just on the base, you know, because obviously every 
location has a logistics, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes certain guys, you know, they just need a little extra whatever, you know. And so sometimes it's just easier. It's not necessarily, but you have to have certain background. And so I can only do so much, but you have to have these backgrounds. You have to have this understanding. It's not something that just, it's, it's not a um, common one, just realistically. And so now you take in reference to 2001 after 1993, and you have the advancements in science as far as different medical. Then you have the advancements in technology and all of that. So I warned these people, you better be careful what you post online because you have no idea what you're doing. And a bunch of people, whether of whatever, <laughs> they didn't want to pay attention. They didn't think that I knew what I was talking about at all. They wanted only certain details of this, or they only wanted certain details of this, or they only wanted certain details of this, and it was one of those, yes, but it's a, it's a huge amount of stuff. <laughs> and then these people who only wanted this, 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 and this, it was one of those, and except all these other things are still in, interconnected. And so, you know, whether it was civilian sector or law enforcement or fire department or EMS or military, it was, well, no, I want the, well, if you would stop interrupting, I could give you this and, you know, but when you have a discussion in comparison to a lecture, this is what I dealt with. And so then you have all these other interconnected portions of all these other situations and it's like, okay, um, you need to be careful with certain things. And so, in San Antonio, it's now Military City USA. There are a multitude of reasons how it went from San Antonio to Military City USA. And so, um, now you have in this particular reference, the situations regarding, well, children to her children in comparison to my son and my daughter my son being born in 2001 nine days before 9 11 and my daughter having been born on the 24th of september in 2002. you had children that were older than that obviously in those years 2001 and 2002 and 2003 and so where my biological mother biological father biological sister and ex-in-laws wouldn't think as i would guesstimate and then the situations regarding the four little teenager temper tantrums in regards of and their connected aspects then you have the um, cul-de-sac that and then a secondary cul-de-sac in reference to my house in Carrollton. So then you have, you know, the I think it was a total of eight in regards to that one neighbor with how many children combined as far as the Catholics. Then as far as like two, four, six, eight, as far as the houses. So the one corner house, the house behind it in the cul-de-sac the next house, then the next house. And then, you know, the annoyances regarding my son, my daughter, and I. And our lives instead. And those types of nosy people. Those types of situations in the DFW area. And then, you know, my biological mother, and biological father, and titty baby Philly as far as whatever law enforcement they had show up because why are you involving yourself because who are you to and why are you you do know that that phone call was registered because what are you doing as far as any illegal surveillance whether you're an ex 
there's no reason. X volunteering, X relationship, X friendship, X whatever. It's an it's it's over sort of situation. And so those needless problems, you know, in those particular references. And they in those particular situations. So then you have my scuba diving by that time in 2010. So, you know, that's a situation which, why are you involving yourself with my staff? Civilian recreational scuba divers. And those situations. And so, you know, instead of speaking with me, because that would make sense in comparison to those situations. So now I have the time frame to deal with regarding the after effects of my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. What is humanity? Then I have the situations regarding 2001. What is humanity? Then I have the situations regarding 2003. And I'm re-growing up in the state of time. What is humanity? Then I have the situations as far as my scuba diving. What is humanity? Then I have the situations regarding my daughter and my son at their elementary school. What is humanity? Then as everything went onward, already though from beforehand, what is humanity? What is human decency? Humanity and human decency are supposed to be hand in hand in comparison. So these needless problems of overdramatic situations where other people, through whatever thought process that they think they have a right, and they don't. Just because of going online, it's not a right to do certain things. Doesn't matter. Those particular factors. And so all of those situations regarding those Types. And if you were just honest with me, how much easier everything would have been. But because of those types, those needless drama types, where you could literally just speak with me in truth, but instead you made whatever choices you made, involvement you made, and then you wonder why. Because why would it matter to people such as you if it doesn't impact you until it does? until that day occurs, which when it occurs is essentially when it occurs. You don't have any right to stir up needless drama and yet you do as you do and have done as you've done. So between the four children and then the eight couple aspects in that horrific area called Carrollton, Texas, those vile individuals in reference to stirring up needless drama in that hypothetical. And those types, because those types don't have the actual right to at all. That is not a right. Breaking and entering as far as privacy you don't have that authority to put those recording devices illegally in. You don't have that as a right. That's not a freedom of expression. That's not a freedom of the press. It's not, it's not a freedom you have. And so those types of people involving themselves and stirring up needless drama because of those types and then McCoy Elementary School and those situations, if those types had just not been themselves, essentially. They weren't ever asked, and then their opinions. And in that reference, most importantly, I didn't ask for their involvement. That's the most important factor. So then the other situations regarding 
all these other situations, both before in these other areas and after. And then it's one of those, well, why would I care about other people's feelings after a certain point? Because if there's needless drama stirred up, why would I care? Because in comparison where you should have had compassion, your choices were to stir up needless drama. Hypothetically. And so those needless drama types, and I'm not into that. But those types that assume. So then there's my modeling. And where people in the state of Texas could have been honest. But they chose not to. Because why would you? That would be common sense. God bless Texas, bless your heart. Well, you know, okay. So throughout the state of Texas, from the official time frame of creating my modeling name, so 2009-ish time frame, through two, and all sorts of people in the state of Texas could have just had common sense, as far as that's concerned. And so you have younger aged children and whatever age. And so if anybody asked my son and or my daughter about my modeling, instead of having human decency, so there's no reason for any biological adult to speak with my son and or my daughter about my modeling because similarly to my scuba diving, that's none of your business to do so. That's only to speak with me. And similarly, in regards of performances, scuba diving, that sort of stuff, I'm the only one for you to speak with, but hypothetical, why are you involving yourself with my son and or my daughter when you don't have any legal right and you're obviously not paying attention to the creep factor regarding doing that. There's no excuse for that. You don't have any right at all to speak with minors, especially when I am the one and only. You don't have anybody else. I removed people off of the contact list from McCoy Elementary School. If there were any individuals that were put in there and did, they did not have the authority to send people to speak with my son or my daughter, they did not have that right, obviously. There's no excuse for that. And why are you speaking with minors about me? My scuba diving, my modeling, my... That is none of your business. Has not ever been any of your business. You had no right to do so legally. Because it's only supposed to be for school. That's the only reason for anybody to show up. And that's only if in New Jersey, you had to send a notation signed in that day to allow that to occur. If you did not, you weren't allowed to. So how backwards would that school be to ever allow anybody? without an official notification that day. I'm just pointing that out there. So instead, these needless problems occurred to my son and my daughter and I because of these backwood areas in between the DFW area in the city of Carrollton, Texas and then Cedar Park, which I did not invite, I didn't put anybody on that. And yet why would anybody in Cedar Park be allowing anybody such as my son and my daughter to speak with any, what ignorance, what lack of common sense do you have? Because then what are you doing? Why are you involving yourselves? You don't have any legal rights 
or authorities to do so. What are you, this, this is my ex-in-laws and my biological mother, biological father, biological sister, and those individuals, you don't have the right, you don't have the authority. You wonder why you have become the problem, because you were the problem to begin with. My son, my daughter, and I did not invite you to do that. That is not a freedom of yours. It is not your freedom of expression. It is not your freedom of the press at all. You actually did not have the right, nor did you have the authority to do so. Facts. Official informed. That's the only way. You doing that garbage, knowing the after effects of my head injury from Palm Sunday in 2000, that is the problem with those type of people who have needed to accept the Ten Commandments are the only way to be. Period. And end of story. Especially when it comes to the civilian sector. So then, the 10 year, what those people in the state of Texas called anniversary in 2011. And you people, as far as the civilian recreational scuba divers, you people in reference to the civilian sector that could have just spoken with me and instead you people and your types of whatever age could just speak with me in truth and instead you people and it's a 10 year what did i deal with because of you people on top of the other aspects. So then you have children who not only, and this is in reference to my son and my daughter, who not only have somebody who has a direct tie directly to the tri-state area and East Coast, you, through my son and my daughter, you people, and you don't have any legal authority to speak with them by my standards in reference even to a school system. You don't have that authority at all to interject yourself that way or ask you have no right to nobody ever asked me in asher holmes about anna's work same thing when it comes to mike i was asked for my assistance on other stuff why are you involving yourself with my son and or my daughter that you did not have the right to when they were minors so then you have the situations regarding 2001 and you have children of various ages. So then you also have, okay, I didn't graduate basic training and yet 2001 and it is what it is. You also have the dress blues needless problem. Regarding my children's biological father, yes, he did whatever of whatever. He graduated basic training. He probably did some good stuff, but it doesn't change the facts as to the reality. And instead of you people having that common sense, my ex-in-laws, biological mother, biological father, biological sister, and all those others as far as, and you weren't invited to do that. So my ex-sister-in-law, Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen, and who she married and her trifling daughters, those people did not ever get invited to be a part of anything. I specifically did not invite them to do so. I wouldn't. There is that fact of my original blue ID card on the military installation, that is UCMJ, that Mary Evangelina Nichols Osteen and her two trifling daughters, Sandra Marie Osteen at that time and Ariel Nicole Osteen at that time in 2001, that should have been taken care of UCMJ, but there's the Air Force in those types. Those, you know, and for those who don't know in the Army, the Coast Guard, the Marine Corps, and the Navy. Just look at their pay scales and their additional pay, whatever, and just think about what they have gotten away with. 
needlessly because of those types. Because they just have. Think about the Dallas Galleria laptop and how that went. If that occurred in the Army, the Coast Guard, the Marine Corps, or the Navy, in comparison to the Chair Force, that would have been different, and anybody in any of those other branches knows it. So no, to this day, I still don't feel bad that I made the little Chair Force boy do push-ups, because apparently the entire Air Force has needed to have that regulation where the entire Air Force has needed, not everybody, but needed that understanding that you don't have the rights to do certain things just because you have the technological advantage. However, there is the Navy. And so you and your issues and those factors, it still doesn't change certain aspects. So where it could have just been asked as many times, as many situations, 2009 through 2013 and instead everybody just wants to do some stupid little game which if you just spoke with me in truth honestly from the starting point these needless problems would not be needless problems but those types because mike anna and patricia decided to lie and if they didn't lie and told the truth from the get-go, it would have been easier for me, my son, and my daughter. But those types, that's New Jersey, 1980, 1990, in the wrong ways. And then you have the individuals regarding my ex-in-laws and that needless drama. People I don't even, whatever. And then other areas as far as cul-de-sacs, those reps. And so, you know, the um, situations that my son, my daughter, and I needlessly went through because of those types of those people thinking they have a right that they don't, didn't have that right to begin with, ever, obviously. And then their whatever offspring heathens, as far as however that went because you didn't have any right or authority to do so to begin with. And those needless situations and involvements. And then the law firm regarding CFBISD and so on and so forth. And so if you weren't such needless problems, stuff could have been taken care of beforehand, but because of those types that have needed to learn the Ten Commandments. Because quite frankly, as many attempts as I made to actually take care of things, if you didn't have so much bureaucracy in the state of Texas in those areas, I could have actually had things taken care of back then. But since your types in those needless drama ways, because in New Jersey, that wouldn't have happened in comparison. That would have been completely different, but those types in the state of Texas needless drama because New Jerseyans don't tolerate drama. They'll watch whatever on TV and then whatever. Yeah, certain other things, but they're not going to do that in their home area. They know better. Unlike those types. So you got the whole state of Texas and the irony of ironies, Texany, Texans don't even realize that they're just one state. They're proud of it being one state, and yet, they, because of such land mass, they don't realize that it's one state. And so, you know, DFW compared to Houston, compared to Austin, compared to San Antonio, compared to East Texas, compared to West Texas, Panhandle area, so on and so forth, and yet, it's still the state of Texas. In comparison to the five boroughs of New York City, which there is a bigger difference, but certain similarities, but not, and then New York State, and then Pennsylvania, and New Jersey, and those are different areas in comparison to the state of Texas regarding those cities and states, and the, that drama, that just annoying, annoying drama. Then you have the after effects of 2001. You have children who, in high school, 9-11 occurs, whatever their viewpoint is. You have it throughout the country, 
but you know, you have those in Texas who have their Texas opinion. Gave these people warnings regarding the 11th of September, 2001, because you'd think that as many military installations in the state of Texas, the amount of active duty National Guard reservists and dependents, you'd think that they'd pay attention, that they'd know better, you'd think. So these situations that I dealt with, but Mike and Ed, Patricia, those types and those factors have and those situations. And then you have, in reference to 2001, not just high school in the state of Texas, but also in other areas. So my biological sister most likely dealt with a bunch of people in, to, in, in high school at Crystal Lake South, knowing that I'm four years older, knowing that calling her out on her garbage because why would you ever have any sadness? You, you know, because by that point in time, I doubt she ever brought up going to New Jersey, from New Jersey to New York City to the level of. So, you know, sure, probably as she did, go out to the East Coast and that whatever, it's not the same in New Jersey and it's known by that time as far as social media. And then her issues and then the state of Texas knowing the educational difference. I warned people in the state of Texas about this. However, here's the thing my biological sister, biological mother and biological father didn't take in consideration. How technology was gonna go. And children. So while they went to run away, hypothetically in certain references regarding how Patricia was probably being called out because of the way things went, first and foremost, I wouldn't return back to Illinois, so there's that. Then you have the other factors in regards of 9-11 and people knowing I'm four years older as well as the other situations and so on and so forth as far as the tri-state area and them knowing about me talking about going up to New York City. Them also knowing about the fact that I joined the Army and they knew about the time frame of. So Anna going and running her mouth and the Henry County Government Center and Rickle Pick and all that sort of stuff. Those situations. Then you got Patricia running her mouth in, in the middle school and those situations. Then you have Mike running his mouth and that. And then you have my biological mother's half sister, Edie, and her running her mouth. Then you have her husband, Mark, running his mouth. Then you have Edie's two daughters. One's in high school at Crystal Lake South running her mouth. And then the other one is in the same grade as my biological sister running her mouth. Then you have the two of their brother in the area of Crystal Lake and him running his mouth and then wife or female turned wife and her running her mouth and then children thereof and them running their mouths. Because anybody who's met Anna, Mike and or Patricia, you know how that goes. And so, you know, Anna and or Mike and or Patricia went to those whatever. And so then that did not rocket science. And so all of those, and that's what I'm already dealing with just in Crystal Lake. And then there's the other areas. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, so all that. And then employment that I had had in the area. So Jim Alotti holds a Susan Nissan. You got IHOP and that. And um, Holiday Ann and Turtle Wax as far as the overall, and all of these employees in these different areas, plus that beauty pageant situation, and then that, yeah, yeah, summer school and college in a less than 24 month period of time. It's a lot of people to know, a lot of areas to travel. How is that considered similar, not the exact same, but similar to the driving aspects? Different locations. So then, you know, the state of Texas and that sort of, what have you, yeah. So, you know, just think. So then, you know, I, I, I 
lived in the different areas, traveled in the different areas throughout the state of Texas, so on and so forth for this time frame. And you have these in 2001 high schoolers right off the bat. So as far as Leonard is concerned, he had been involved with Desert Shield and Desert Storm. So his children have this experience knowledge from the 1990s, unlike my biological sister. Unlike my biological mother's sister, Edie, and Mark, her husband, with those two. And those trifling ones. I'm going to go, Katie and Allie. And so 2001, certain situations, needless drama, all that stuff. And realistically, let's be honest, because if I had, well, those in Texas would know for this, in the different areas more specifically. So if Mike and Anda and or Patricia had said, hey, there are these needless problems or something, whatever instead of what occurred. People in Texas know exactly how that would have been instead. Just saying, <laughs> there are those who know how that would have been, how I'd have, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are those from Crystal Lake South High School who already know how that was. You know, just throwing a cafeteria table, that's all. That's, that's no big deal, you know, whatever disarm a guy in a parking lot because he wants to run around with a starter pistol, just, you know, sort of whatever and stupidity. Anyway, that sort of arrangement of stuff. And so, you know, those situations of needless involvement and that. So, but that would have been taken care of like that in a heartbeat. However, you know, it went the way it did and then you know, in 2002, during Christmas, uh, there was that, um, wherever that house was, and the um, pudding shots, not reference, regarding D and those people who were upset because of Jimmy and how certain things went. And those people and whoever they were, I think there were ironically eight of them in the Crystal Lake area. You know, a bunch of trust fund baby types. And those situations and you know wanting to know and it's none of their business at all whatsoever and they're graduates of the 2001 year whoop de doo that's I have other things I have stuff to take care of so you have that and then college and it's not to be rude just one of those there's a lot more than just your selfish situations because then you have those in college at the time frame of and all that and and those in college and high school and biological adults not thinking of course as to children like actual children so my son and my daughter are you know going and growing up and so you have the high school situation but across the situation so you've got the vietnam war whatever and then you have desert storm and desert shield for the more combined aspect, but you also have World War II and Korean War aspects. Some World War I, but you have that all at the same time, and then you have technology along with it. So then, you know, so then in 2001, you have not just high schoolers, college, and, and all that. Then, then you have middle schoolers, and that, if you have a school that a system that has a middle school because depending on where you live and then you have elementary school and those factors and then 2001 you also have preschoolers which aren't developed of course at that point in time yet and then infants and those who would be born after and so I gave all these warnings because it was kind of like, so people are going to be capable to do things more and more and more and more. And then the special needs at the same time, as far as that's concerned, and of anybody who should be speaking the truth at all times, let's be honest on that, because how are you going to actually get the assistance in the correct capacities? So then, <laughs> then all these other situations. And so then...
first year time frame of what those people call an anniversary, I call a memorial. I'm pregnant with my daughter and about to deliver. What is everybody else doing in 2002? After what happened in 2001? So I dealt with what I dealt with in 2001. And then in 2002, at that one year, and, th th and then, yeah, sure, I had a birthday. Uh huh. Yeah, well, my son, I'll focus on life and gonna give life because there's that. And why would 2003 and those needless problems, as far as that needless drama, as far as those situations. And then, you know, the subdivision cul de sac and all that. Those types, and then. So 2003, where it's technically the two year, but I get to deal with my biological sister and four little teenagers. Oh, San Antonio teenagers. And they're too ignorant to put that together as far as the actual time frame, and that I'm four years older. And then there's the little college, you know, whatever in the area, but also these particular high schoolers in the area while having elementary schoolers at the same time. Literally don't probably see too much of a difference between the elementary schoolers in my neighborhood compared to the high schoolers that had shown up as far as my biological sister and those others. In comparison though, I do as I can, as best as I can, as respectfully as I can regarding. And so as technology is developing and children are growing, my son and my daughter and all these things in different neighborhood, what have yous, and yeah. So I gave all these warnings. Mm -hmm. And so in this cul-de-sac area in the year 2005, I start with my hair. Mm -hmm. Children before had noticed me well before my hair. Biological adults to a degree, they only noticed ish after my hair. But children had naturally special needs biological adults noticed them well before. No different than when I was a child or a teenager just was as it was. They weren't rude at all, especially in comparison. However, they had noticed. And so, in, as far back as when I was in elementary school. So, of anybody to speak the truth, that would be most assistive, that would be important. Down syndrome, cleft palates, um, you have the wheelchair uh, situations for some, um, autism, then there's also the dyslexia or what other aspects of, I think I said autism, Asperger's, Tourette's, so on and so forth. All these different situations that require honesty at all times from birth. So it's not the same as re-growing re up and that whole aspect of, after waking up from my coma, after my head injury on Palm Sunday of 2000. However, there are certain attributes. And so my biological mother, biological father, and biological sister cause needless problems. And then my ex-in-laws, as far as that's concerned. Because if it wasn't an issue, let's be honest on that. So then there's the situations over time. So then you have 2004. And you add the different communities. Dages. Now, in 2004, my son is three, my daughter is two. And so, doing what's best as possible, I, knowing that there's all this other stuff, not having forgotten, having remembered, but still working on other things that I'm dealing with Mike and Anna and Patricia in the state of Texas, as well as my ex-in-laws, 
and making attempts and all these things and their needless drama than 2005 and not one point in time no different than my childhood or teenage years what would there ever be to celebrate my birthday so you know while those individuals might wish in regards of other things that's their issues regarding their needless drama so if their egos as to my not remembering their birthdays, you know, with the time frame of the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. Oh, and being a mom of two children, you know, excuse me. As far as those types, as to that haughtiness, and those references, on top of which, and so you have this situation where you have city of San Antonio, people coming in and out, medical hold unit changes to warrior transition unit, technology, social media, and that. And so give these warnings and warnings and warnings, cell phones on top of the social media stuff all these other factors and situation after situation after situation after situation could just speak with me in honesty situations are as they are and so these children who were in high school in 2001 some point graduate and go to college the ones in college that go to work 2001. So now, as time goes on, you also have middle schoolers that go to college or high school and then college. And you have City of San Antonio, that's a constant in and out regarding different individuals depending on the stationing, as well as the local population. And because Lackland Air Force Base, as far as those aspects, then you have the other situations regarding the state of texas and again you have veterans from all sorts of eras regarding from world war one world war two korean war vietnam war desert storm and desert shield before iraq and afghanistan dependence of so you have individuals as far as all that and instead of common sense very few pay attention to the dress blues situation, despite having been informed. You got my ex-in-laws out in Georgia and their what have yous, and Alabama and those what have yous, Oklahoma and those what have yous, and then wherever else, as far as that's concerned, because I wouldn't know. Common last name. So then there's all that and having traveled through a few areas and all those situations on top of social media aspects. So then 2005 and my hair, and then 2006 and the second and final separation, 2007, and now the children at to a degree, almost-ish, ready to go from elementary school into middle school, those the ones that have been in middle school already in high school the ones that were in high school already went to college moving around the country and so i warned these people especially when it came to the 11th of september 2001 they'd call it an anniversary and it, it just it was something that i just cringed i couldn't be the only one it's just it's a memorial and so now there's getting into my scuba diving, Carrollton, Texas, and those ages, and social media, and not, not just San Antonio now, because San Antonio is a different type of social media as per the personality, if you are in certain references. So, mm -hmm. so those factors of individuals who would know me, in person, face-to-face, -face, in person, maybe they recognize my modeling, maybe they don't, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have any idea. 
if they would, because that would require truth and honesty. And those reference sets, it's important. I don't hide it, I don't do certain things either, but it is what it is. Children, on the other hand, that knew me in person, face to face in person, I guarantee you, if I knew, if, if I knew them by name, so there's very few of those, um, there would be the automatic, well, that's Susan. That's Miss Susan. <laughs> I could easily see Brooke and Danny being like, no, 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 that's Miss Susan. That's, that's Susan. And, they, and, and the situations regarding, but then if you send people, which you don't have any right to, to ask my son and my daughter, they're not going to know because I'm not going to tell them. So why would you involve yourself in comparison to just asking the one and only? And then the needless drama involving my biological mother, biological father, biological sister, and ex-in-laws. Because most likely the irony, my ex-in-laws probably may not have put two and two together at that point in time just yet until later. And maybe they did, maybe they didn't. It is what it is. Most likely the teenagers would have put that together. So by the time of 2009, I had warned, I don't know how many people about this. Remember, so in 2001, these teenagers who are getting in either to high school and or middle school, you biological adults and what have you have already given them a pattern of behavior, common sense. I didn't out to people. In regards to the supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle, my ex-in-laws had teenagers in high school and college of level grade stuff. Yeah, yeah, have you met some of these millennials? Do you, have you heard of this thing called of a selfie? Have you heard of that? So, you know, um, my biological sister was in college and she has the knowledge of how she was. Then you have my ex-in-laws and all that, the biological adult ones, but then you also have the teenagers. So let me remind you what is supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle as well as what have you. You have in 2001, they're in upper elementary school or middle school. Just so you know. If you didn't put that math together similarly regarding certain people as to the four year difference between my biological sister being four years younger as to the traveling around the tri-state area and in comparison to me, four years more. And then the February, 2022, and actually seeing the evening skyline from a specific area that I would actually know and would know the protocol, just as I did in reference to that day and that time frame, and making assistance uh, recommendations and suggestions during those time frames because of 1993, despite. And so, you know, you got all this sort of stuff and <laughs> heard it through the grapevine. It seems to be a song that uh, might be a little apropos. And now you've got social media on top of that. And so 2004, 2005, my biological sister graduates high school, goes to college, and I get involved in what is supposed to be considered the consenting adult lifestyle officially. Uh, excuse me, hi San Antonio, keep that in mind. Have you met some of these college students from two th starting college in 2004, 2005? Yeah, no, those aren't the millennials. And I was warning you about, yeah, no, 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 you didn't understand that because what you would put on social media would be that. So, so what I meant about millenn elementary school, yeah, yeah, yeah. T and Gers thought I was, no, 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 the ones that would have more time. So they'd see what all these other people would do with the social media. They'd have their parents, their aunts, their uncles, what have you. As far as those examples in comparison to myself. And despite how I look physically, being as I am. And so, you know, I didn't say anything to my ex-in-laws. Though, most likely, they'd recognize because 
my nieces and my nephews as far as in those situations, but because of legal aspects and military situations, and that's just the way that is. So you have those in the DFW area who have their influences as how they have their influences. Then you have my other ex-in-laws that I didn't get to know at all. And those factors I'm making. I don't like name choppers. That particular arrangement and situation, but you know, after the dress blues especially, those factors, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, you know, the little teenagers at that point, so that's 2009, eight years. And so then the little ones out in Macon, Georgia, two years away from the 10 year in Georgia, Texas. And so, uh, you know, there's, there's, there are people in Texas who might know what military uh, bases might be in the vicinity. And they know. Hi. <laughs> so these, so I've got all these others in this reference. And so then now, now there's those, is it eight or 10 teenagers in high school in Georgia? And they have social media. And they grew up with whatever their parents are and whatever their parents watched on TV. So, you know, get back to Texas and I got scuba diving and, 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 and that. Yeah, no, and teenagers in high school. And then Alabama in elementary or middle school, all in one. Yeah, yeah, so then I get back to Texas. In those situations in 2009, yeah. And then the high school reunion in 2010. And, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those needless problems. Because those types up in Illinois would think that However, they would think because of whatever my biological mother, biological father, and or biological sister would have to say. And because my daughter being as very similar temperament wise, depending on intellectual capacity and certain references, you know, when not dealing with certain needless problems, you know, my biological mother, biological father, biological sister having issues with personality traits. And then my son being, you know, my son and my daughter being very kind of split is almost like a half and half of me in comparison to my ex-in-laws. This is why there's only certain ways to bond with my son and or my daughter regarding to actually getting to know them. Because you don't know how they were raised. They weren't raised the way you were. So they were raised to always speak the truth in comparison to those types. So if you don't ask certain things and you don't have my permission, why are you involving yourselves? Again, there's only one person to speak with in reference to my modeling, my scuba diving. So they weren't informed of that because those types are then being as nosy needlessly that my biological mother and my biological father and biological sister would be because they are those types of that needless situation and all those other factors of the annoyances and could have just left me alone, already set the boundaries and instead they want to feel special and they don't have the right to. And they've already messed up regarding Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment and they've additionally messed up regarding the Army and they've additionally over and over and over again. And I warn the state of Texas, what do you do? You believe the wrong people. Because why would someone tell you the truth? With, ex with experience, why? What would you have? 
one and only with all of the experience, and yet you want to go and speak with people who don't have any experience whatsoever. Who don't have any information, who were not ever informed. I didn't ever tell my ex-in-laws about my modeling. I didn't ever tell my son or my daughter about my modeling. I didn't ever tell my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological sister about my modeling. That did not occur. That just wasn't an option for anybody to go in any other direction than to speak directly with me with etiquette and respect on purpose. Specifically on purpose. Because of not being willing to deal with those types. I knew what I was doing. It was just none of their business is really what it boiled down to. If they needed to know, they could ask the one and only to ask in comparison. I am, so again, I refer to, I won't jump out of a perfectly good airplane in reference to airborne. I'll do air assault though. I will, because if I need to, I know how to do certain things. And so, you know, employment aspects, if I have to, it is what it is regarding I know that it's not the most normal way to look at logistics. And yet, at the same time, depending on, there are certain individuals with certain types of situations that would understand and comprehend being capable to maintain the control while doing an air assault sort of drop for certain types of guys in a swifter situation regarding that in the particular wording I don't have. As in a quick drop, here's what you need and take off. For those who understand that particular, in a different capacity. That's what I was looking at. So I thought it was infantry or cavalry or combat arms or MP. Oh, logistics? Well, maybe that's what it is as far as wording. Those guys who know those guys for that stuff of those whatchamacallits. Hi. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. I'll just hold on. Have the whatever, you know, I can give a reference of. And I just. Oops. Hi. That's, that's. If I can't do that, I could do this and then still whatever. And I'm sure that there are those who understand what type of employment that would particularly be before getting into scuba diving and that sort of work. So one and only person to actually ask, all I gotta do is ask, and instead you go and ask anybody except for the one and only person to ask. Okay, so then there are people in the lifestyle community who know and that sort of stuff, some of them being Facebook online and some of them being, you know, fat life and stuff and then, <laughs> different version of black and white and uh, <laughs> we're getting back to San Antonio whether in regards of Temple of Flesh uniform fetish ball and or <laughs> exotic Easter <laughs> and then <laughs> And then Steve and Krista, as far as Temple of Flesh doing the poster the way they did. <laughs> Not because there's certain thoughts, I apologize for this lecture. <laughs> performance of us being there. So others who wouldn't have been there 
would it know? Which is a double-edged sword in that particular reference regarding that. However, it kind of also works out in regards to Temple of Flash. Because as a <laughs> because those who weren't there wouldn't know. So all they'd see is if they saw that poster. They wouldn't really recognize, recognize. They'd take a look at that and be like, that must be whatever, whatever. Comparison. And so, you know, certain situations and went to whatever and, you know, okay, 2019 in reference to my hairstyle, still the same. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, online stuff because I cannot be the only person who's had issues with technology and social media accounts. You know, those types. And so, um, but then those elementary schoolers that were in upper elementary school or in high school, if not starting college, in those situations, in 2012-2013, you know, the kids that started kindergarten in 2000, And civilian recreational scuba divers. Well, why didn't certain things come forward? And it's 2012, being up in the San Antonio area, whether or not they could tell regarding my modeling don't matter. And my scuba diving. But yet the vice versa, as far as ages and stuff like that, and warnings and all this stuff. And then San Antonio Family Court, all those situations. And then Stony LaRue concert, March of 2013, wind up in an overall area regarding Washington State, which I warned people shouldn't be there. If I'm there, it's too late. If I, if you, and I told civilian recreational scuba divers this, if I ever wind up above the Mason-Dixon line and it's not New Jersey, anything that, it, it, it's too late regarding certain things for you. And these civilian recreational scuba divers thought I was joking and warned them that I wasn't. It'll be too late. The day that you, I told these civilian recreational scuba divers this, we were camping out. It was a group of us. There was ironically about eight or nine. There was a huge issue was out at Lake Travis. Morning camp. If I wind up in Washington State, or above the Mason-Dixon line is really what it meant, but not in New Jersey in the other area, which essentially would be Washington State. If I wind up above the Mason-Dixon line and it's not in New Jersey, I promise you it's too late for you. And these civilian recreational scuba divers thought I was joking. They thought I was being sarcastic. So, I wound up in Washington State in 2013, four years, maybe five or four from my scuba diving, 2013. I told people, I gave warnings throughout the state of Texas, they thought I was joking. I warned them. They didn't understand. It wasn't anything I actually, I actually was doing them a favor. That's the irony, because I was making attempts to explain about millennials. So, you know, how much more inquisitive are children from the elementary school time frame of 2001 into 2002? 
compared to children that are older than them. Spire has that. So how, how much more do they require information for understanding and truth and stuff? I warned people, I'll be careful. Well, tell the truth, those Ten Commandments, they are important. And so I made these promises to my son and my daughter. I wasn't going to go into anything regarding the reality. And I was truthful, but I told them I would always be truthful, though I would not go into certain details about the reality in reference to their biological father until they were at an age because of the first separation. Yes, I understood that they were two and three years old, but I made that promise to them. In 2006, when they were four and five years old, I made that same promise. I didn't care. I knew I was going to deal with certain things, However, I wasn't willing to have certain situations occur. And this was the only way I could to make sure that my son and my daughter knew that I would always tell them the truth, though would actually acknowledge I'd have to tamper certain information with temperance. So that way their worlds didn't, what have you, in comparison. If they'd ask me, they'd have to ask me in truth, and I'd answer them in truth, but if I had to inform them of something, I would give them a warning. I made that promise to my son and my daughter. And so I didn't discuss certain things because, well, did I gave warnings about these millennial types, you know, where they'd put recording devices where, where, where it would be considered illegal and, you know, invasion of privacy problems and nosiness. And a bunch of people thought I was joking that nobody would ever do that sort of stuff and yet it was their children. And so I got accused of outing people in 2010 or 2011. So let me go backwards in reference to children I knew at the time in comparison. So there's my ex-in-laws, their children in elementary school, middle school, and high school. That's some people who talk, yes. Then you have neighborhoods as far as the elementary schools that my son and my daughter were in. And I mean, who, who talks in the state of Texas? about another person and gives their opinion when not asked compared to me. And so, you know, that's what you touch children. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's what, and then, and then the prior neighborhood that I had lived in in regards of San Antonio I was accused of this stuff before the voicemail situation. So, you know, that's something that that particular individual needs to accept responsibility for what I dealt with because of that answering machine message on top of what I had dealt with in CID. Uh, in the year of 2000, wasn't as bad as uh, 2008, as far as, you know, 2000, it was more along the lines of being questioned compared to 2008, where it was the interrogation and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, 2012, as far as because of an ex-boyfriend who decided to contact my biological mother and biological father and be a tattletale. And so he had met Mike and Anna. And so he knew what I was, but you know, why would that ever be of human decency or any 
hum anything humane at all. No, that would be, hum no, no. But he was and is as he is, which, you know, he has a son, so there's that. So most likely his son is just as trifling in that particular reference because of common sense as far as that's concerned. And I've been dealing with what I've been dealing with. Why would there be any human decency at all? I wouldn't know, but that's what I got to deal with, so I have all that. And then, you know, in other references, and I've already made the explanations known. So it's supposed to be informed consent and everybody involved, which would translate to, I'd have to have consented, but I didn't consent in regards of that garbage in reference to what is supposed to be considered as the adult consenting lifestyle. Instead, I didn't consent to certain aspects because I have mandatory requirements. And so if there's that as far as how I wound up in Washington State, well, I didn't consent. But there's social media. And if you have children that were teenagers, whether in college or high school or middle school in the state of Texas in those areas during those times, um, for you, you would have the reference as far as older, you'd have the reference of for social media regarding those ages. You remember those circulars at the grocery store? Remember those pictures, the inquirer, whatever, whatever, and people who could put that together? Well, that's social media for them. So while biological adults may or may not be capable to put that together, um, then there's elementary schoolers in the year of 2001 and 2002 who would have a different viewpoint than high schoolers. And so they'd be capable to see certain things differently, such as Photoshop being problematic because that's considered lying. in comparison of knowing a filter, which is different. Putting the filter, it is not a lie because you actually make the choice. If somebody else makes that choice, that is not their right. So it has to be done by the individual they themselves. Otherwise, it's considered breaking the Ten Commandments and you have to give that knowledge. In comparison to what other factors have been, and so just as back in the 1980s and 1990s and early 2000s where paparazzi had been problematic in a multitude of ways, in my opinion, in whatever version of, that's where it has to be where the celebrities take a stand against because it's the knowledge that these particulars have been and those types, whoever of whatever, that stirred up needless drama because of. And where it could actually just get a discussion or whatever, you know, certain, certain types of certain situations and those name dropping factors. Ten Commandments. And so where certain individuals, whatever types of celebrities say, hey, you know, I want this in comparison, or I want that in comparison. Why are you bringing me this instead? And not wanting to half-ass. And yet, you know, those types of situations and stirred up needless drama. Because not necessarily of these celebrities, but the other ones, those situations, 
And so, you know, I, I was on Fat Life and I'd read something Fat Liberty or something like that. And Fat that's a scary <laughs> whatever it's called. It was, you know, whatever. And having been myself the whole time, haven't hit it. And these situations that occurred on what would be considered the dark web. Because how many would actually know about that? And so those particular situations, but I'm honest in comparison. And on and on and on and on. And so then there's those factors where it was inevitable that some would grow up and go there. And so then there's that. So, you know, because I'm that type where it's like, yeah, so I'm going to not do certain things because I know better because <laughs> I'll give you warnings. <laughs> but, uh, you know, have you ever let your, because I know I didn't, uh, I didn't ever allow my children to use my cell phone to do anything. I wouldn't allow that, you know, because of those whatever games. It's a, nope, wouldn't ever allow it. Nope, nope, nope. There's a book over there. Go read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no. Wouldn't allow certain things. I was that mom. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in the reference of by the time of winding up in Washington State, those factors. And then in the hypotheticals regarding Texans and that sort of stuff. And so that set of needless problems that my son, my daughter, and I dealt with. So back in the 1980s and 1990s, in the tri-state area, a lot of laws were put into place because these paparazzi would be so annoying in the tri-state area, stirring up needless drama, causing traffic problems in New York City. Um, and anybody who remembers New York City driving in the 1980s, 1990s, uh, then there was the traffic problems in New Jersey, because obviously, and then Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, you know, because of those situations as far as those needless problems regarding that type of paparazzi. And so uh, I'm sure in certain references such as Hollywood and California, there became these laws that would not allow that because of how many lives they were putting in danger. So you've got 2017 regarding my first Medal of Honor art project trip in the area regarding Montana with my son and the 20 pieces of my Medal of Honor art project artwork and that stuff. Um, and that's in Montana. That's not even, I mean, that's obviously not SeaTac, but that is that reality, those references. And so, you know, Idaho and Utah and Colorado and Wyoming and all the other states that I've been through into. And so, you know, those older um, celebrities that would know about those paparazzi types, those situations regarding that and so those uh-huh and so those areas those east coast mainly the northeast coast and southwest coast have an understanding it's an up it's an irony in um 1994 the solar eclipse went from Southern California diagonally upward towards the Northeast. That's how the solar eclipse was for that particular area of being within a similar viewpoint as to where I was in Nebraska. And so it's kind of the opposite aspect of uh, how that particular we went in 2000, 
Well, if I remember correctly, it was a different angle. I think it went diagonally from ish, the northwest, down to the southeast. So it made an X regarding the um, pathway of the solar eclipse, which I guess I could make a bit of a, I don't know. <laughs> and so, I mean, there's SpaceX, that's what I'm referring to. E equals MC squared has SpaceX, if that's, you know, because NASA and Blue Origin, that's, you know, that's, that's what I'll leave it at. And so those particular references regarding certain situations. And then, so then there's 2018, 2019. And those factors. And so across the United States of America, those types of needless problems. So I have the modeling situations in the state of Texas and then stuff as far as that. And my son and my daughter, not, that's not for you to speak with them about my stuff. It's not for you to do certain things in those references. It's for you to speak with me and me only. And then those other situations and um, dealt with a bunch of stuff regarding a few factors and um, you know um, sometimes those situations that might not seem impactful to you are much more impactful as far as different situations. And so, um, so I've clarified and verified these aspects because it just seemed really important to, because why wouldn't it be important to me? I grew up with it in the 1980s and 1990s, the tri-state area. Uh, then there were the situations that were similar but different in the Illinois area because of the newspaper articles. That was that. And then Texas and the different areas. And so a lot of celebrities from what I understand have been sued, but yet these people or these paparazzi, they have done certain things instead of having human decency. And then they wonder why. And they haven't been held accountable the way they should have. Because if those paparazzi were held accountable the way they should be, then there wouldn't be that problem. Because why would you sit by and do nothing after stalking a individual across whatever and not actually do anything that would keep that individual safe in the correct capacities? Why would you stir up needless drama instead? That wouldn't do anything beneficial at all for the individual or their family. And so those types. And you want progression, and yet how do you progress if you do the same stuff? So if you actually took responsibility, so you have the 20 year memorial. And this is the first year, 2022, first year uh, I get to see the evening skyline, which is very different just to New York City from a specific location for my particular knowledge, my reference, and those types of situations over the years. 
where those clarifications and verifications should be immediate across the board, each time, automatically. Every journal blog entry that I post automatically, without hesitation. It's more important than certain types wish. They don't see that. So any needless problem, they don't see the long term on that. Remember, I have the temperance to have been calm. So those types and those hypotheticals have needed to get out of the way because they don't understand, because they haven't paid attention before to those factors. And so those situations that have been clarified and verified, I have a bit of knowledge and understanding. So unlike some types of some people that don't have any understanding, they don't even have the knowledge to understand. I have the proof as to the patterns of behavior as far as responsibility, maintaining, sustaining, while taking care of as best as possible. And so I actually have that now, but you know those types and their feelings. And so there shouldn't be any hesitation because why would they know? What would, what would they know as far as the larger aspects other than the needless drama that they stirred up? In comparison. So what knowledge when they haven't asked the one and only? What knowledge would those people have? The answer for this lecture is none. They wouldn't have anything to go off of except for their aspects, which they're not looking at the long term. They've proven that. They've only looked at the not even short term. And so now this year, 2021, will be the 20 or 2022 will be the 21 year memorial. Will be 21 years. So those with special needs and other situations as to larger factors are capable to have those understanding and knowledge. So you have individuals where you have needed to end all types of stolen valor. Military City USA learned that. And so the state of Texas and United States of America, because of how important that is in comparison. Because if you actually genuinely want to progress forward, such as NASA and Space Force and Blue Origin and SpaceX. It's kind of important. That set of Ten Commandments so many people have needed to pay attention to in comparison. So, sure, if I had situations go correctly in the time frame of 2021, I would have been back in time to the state of Texas for the gubernatorial run. However, it took the time frame that it did for me to get out of the area to get to the situation, to out to a location that I'd remember regarding the New York City skyline in the evening hours. February 2022 took that length of time because if it wasn't all that other needless drama from those types, I could have been done by now, obviously, because I would have been in the gubernatorial race, the state of Texas. But those types who wouldn't have any common sense, who wouldn't know of anything because they would have to actually speak with me in comparison to hypothetical paparazzi problems. Because why would they have learned from before? 
where they'd actually have to speak with in comparison to, well, then I didn't do lectures. And so they wouldn't have my son and or my daughter to actually ask. They wouldn't have anybody to actually ask at all whatsoever. They'd actually do that to themselves because again, we could actually speak with the one and only, but eh, have to do with etiquette and respect. And because I have been as, mm, as I've been, well, then there's those factors, but yet at the same time, always been honest. Haven't ever hidden. And so I informed my biological mother worked in Prudential doing coding back in the 1980s and 1990s. But you know, those situations. So those who were, remember my son is now going to be turning 21 years old. My daughter is gonna now be turning 20 years old. So 2001, the 11th of September, is going to be the 20 year memorial. And next year will be the 22nd year memorial. As to that time frame. And so honesty is important. because those details are important. So I made attempts to get stuff taken care of correctly. Those people with their needless drama, those people are going to deal with what those people are going to deal with because that is the facts. Those situations that will be coming forward and have our reality. So while those people in the state of Texas and Illinois stirred up a bunch of needless drama, there are those in the tri-state area or our connections with. So there's that high school, four of those, all that their little temper tantrum, hypothetically, regarding you have no idea how much self-control it took regarding when I was on that high school grounds with those little boys that wanted to, you know, whatever. And it's like, oh, no, no, no. All you have to do is come here and I'll, I'll handle you. I won't, I, I don't play games. But you know, if you're not gonna be whatever because you think you're doing whatever regarding my biological sister, Wrong answer, boys. Wrong answer. And so then there's those girls regarding those types. And yeah, so over the years in the same sort of situation though in reverse regarding my biological sister. Now she gets to see how Asher Holmes Elementary was for me. So any time that people were doing whatever, asking certain things, because having been truthful, but in a very different capacity, because still being myself. So in comparison to dealing with certain things, she has to deal with that. So she gets to hear some of the stuff that she had talked about. And as your own elementary school, your sister has accomplished this, accomplished this, and so, yeah, comparison. Although when she complained about it, in the reverse. And so the needless problems that I dealt with because of that. So in 2010, when she complained or 2011, well, you know, that would be the equivalent of third grade for me for her running her mouth about my buckle and my buckle. 
That'll be about that time frame. And then the other factors. So, you know, those situations of those types. Mm -hmm. And those answers that need those timelines so other people don't have the right to do anything other than how important the information is. So they have the right to clarify and verify their own stuff. But when it comes to my stuff, it's freedom of the press, freedom of expression, freedom of speech in every capacity of because it's within the limits of the law. And so of the United States of America. And so everything that I have authored is within those law aspects. Everything I've compiled, it's within the limits of the law in the United States of America because of my rights at the specific times of, most importantly. So in whatever documentation of whatever year, my legal right, because of the authority at that time, to publish those documents, unlike what my ex-in-laws might wish, unlike what my biological mother and or biological father and or biological sister and any of their connections regarding those little four might wish. I have always had that legal authority because of the time of date. So as much as they've wished, those little problems they legally haven't been allowed to ever get in my way. So they need to get out of my way because again, where have my warnings been proven accurate? Multiple times over, I'm gonna guesstimate. So there's unlike the live broadcast news, unlike that where they have that delay, when it comes to my journal blogs, well, you don't have that right. Because by technicalities, my journal blogs on the ornery PSA through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, well, it's already been through that delay. You don't actually have that right. It's not the same. It's, it's, it's well past that. So you don't understand what you don't know. And so there's that clarification and verification, especially the hypocrisies, hypothetically, from those who decided as far as that needless paparazzi situation. For those certain types so in that four and or the abomination of wedding situation well i didn't do certain things unlike hypothetically and so again one and only sponsor one and only to ever speak with about my work and well, what has it ever mattered? The facts would be for this lecture, if it mattered, I'd have actually been asked in truth with genuinity. I haven't had that luxury, I suppose, because it has to, you know, have etiquette and respect in those references where you actually ask me in genuine truth. That hasn't occurred. So I've authored my books and compiled and stuff and journal blog entries and so on and so forth. And so if those people who I once knew in person, face to face in person, had utilized common sense and the Ten Commandments, would have been better. So now in 2022, um, those particular situations that I've had to work on, clarifying and verifying because of how many situations. Well, those factors go on a different timeline than video. Unless 
it's already been taken care of. So I've already done all this sort of stuff, so there's actually no need for any hesitation, no need for any delay whatsoever at all. Literally, at this point in time, when it comes to my lectures, as soon as posting, I've already gone over that same thing with my journal blogs. My website, www.susanmuling.com. You know, legal aspects. It's not the same. If that wouldn't be done to somebody else, see, can't be doing that, it's important. So you have to have that. That's freedom of the press, constitutional right that I earned. Not because of where I was born, although yes, partially, but I signed the dotted line. I actually earned those rights, you know. And then I did the work to actually maintain and sustain them for myself, you know. And so, um, it's a fact. My work is my work. And where a bunch of people could have asked, they chose not to. That was their choice. They didn't ask me. They asked other people. They stirred up needless drama, those types of needless rumors and all that. But which ones are which regarding them? Because I keep and maintain to myself. Unless I have a sensation to actually go out, you know, where I can actually enjoy. Relax, that honesty, so important. So important, that honesty. Ten Commandments, already been through enough bit too much. So, you know, it's just the facts. Anybody who has common sense would be capable to have common sense and see that I've been through a lot more than what the average person has. Etiquette and respect. It's not much as far as those Ten Commandments are concerned regarding humanity. Instead of what I've already dealt with. How true. How true. And so it might be annoying, but it's still the facts. Because if those realities were taken care of correctly right off the bat instead of what has occurred even since 2018 into 2019, 2020, 2021, now in 2022. So in the state of Texas, after what occurred from 2001 through 2013, then from 2019 into 2021, you obviously didn't learn to speak in truth. Decency. Common sense, courtesy, humanity. Those factors. Instead, you are what I recognized as the same. From 2000, through 2013. Not everybody. There's different what have yous. But if you had individuals do the opposite then, in regards of when I had my son and my daughter with me, the hypotheticals of going and doing whatever, in comparison to being mature biological adults, Yet again, but in a different capacity of instead of to and through me, oh, well, to and through, yeah, except just not you standing before me with honesty, 
genuinity and respect. Because those types where you could have, but then this reproves whatever my son and or my daughter went through regarding McCoy Elementary School or any location of as far as those types. How weak. Stirring up needless drama instead of just common sense human decency. In my opinion, because why would you ever go through someone else? Because you'd have to acknowledge certain things and be truthful because that's what you'd actually have to do. Because other types of people, you know, the Millers, well, I didn't ever actually speak with any of them, so I wouldn't know who they are. I only know of meeting one and actually knowing so. I wouldn't know any of the rest because they didn't have any etiquette to ever introduce themselves as that because that's something that's etiquette standards, you know, in, in comparison to those types. Um, you know, I don't wanna name call, it's just those types, probably similar in reference to those four, it goes to my backyard. And so those types, you know, that, um, you know. And so uh, I was born and raised in New Jersey. And while people have claimed they know how people are from New Jersey, instead, I would guesstimate they didn't figure that out. Because if they had common sense and courtesy, they would have introduced themselves with etiquette and respect. Although I suppose maybe they're accustomed to, you know, that exit 200 Starbucks type across the prime outlets compared to, they should probably learn how to um, raise themselves because in this day and age, as much social media, but I guess it depends on what type of aspect. So those situations over these years, yeah, yeah, because you know, obvious, obviously, common sense. And so the merger on the 6th of June, 2022, today is um, the 11th, or it might be the 12th of May in 2022, has been a bit much of processing. So those types of situations. And so, um, but it's still May, 2022. I'm getting the year correct. It really is just what it is as far as the day compared to, especially when you take in consideration the length of time. I mean, if you do go into the day factor, just think of, so in 2019, there's 365 days plus 2020, 365 days and 2021, 365 days in comparison to, and then, you know, the time frame from January 1st to today in May of 2022, as far as the days, if they need that sort of, you know, and so um, there are those who could have just spoken with me in truth, in honesty. So, um, they don't actually know those types from where I was born and raised. They probably didn't see anything coming in truth, in the larger details, because my biological sister wouldn't know any better. My biological mother wouldn't have the slightest inclination, and my biological father would try to warn, but wouldn't have enough details. In regards of honesty about the tri-state area and those details. So I had to do clarifications and verifications and any needless problems yet again regarding those types in that area, 
who could have actually spoken with me in genuine truth. They were denied that by whoever decided to involve themselves without my permission. And so any needless problems, yet again, that could have actually had certain discussions because of those needless problems as far as those types of individuals who wouldn't have the slightest bit of intelligence because every bit of what they would wish to claim as intelligence would only be what limitations they had, which would be a lot, depending on what year I met them because the later amount of time that I would have met them in the state of Texas, the less they would ever have to know, but they would think otherwise, hypothetically. And so, and the further you are distance wise, the less you have to know, because it's none of your business by technicalities. So those people, hypothetically, my ex-in-laws and or my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological sister and or those little teenagers, little teeny boppers, as far as those factors regarding that abomination of a wedding, the Millers, you denied those individuals as per your choice, same thing when it comes to the San Antonio, whatever, as far as that's concerned, you denied that to those individuals in reference to the 20 year as those people have called anniversary, as I call memorial, on top of the other needless drama that your type of individuals have caused needlessly. As far as those needless problems. And then my ex-in-laws regarding Georgia and other areas of, and the Illinois issues and so on and so forth. So where I could have had everything taken care of at the latest regarding the viewpoint of the evening skyline from where I would have had comfort, would have been essentially in May of 2001. Those people, as far as that transfer situation, if I had gotten that 30 day bit of time. So those people who don't act, who would be considered inaccurate for everything that they chose. Because what I could have done if those people had gotten out of my way each and every individual who didn't have the slightest bit of inclination correctly needs to relinquish themselves regarding what my choices are and my work and where I got, because that's what those people denied already. So now it is full circle of a year because of common sense. So where they hypothetically went to people who didn't know me by their own choices. Not by my choice, by theirs. Because it goes back to speaking in honesty with me and genuine truth instead. So having the various situations, you don't go through my son, you don't go through my daughter when it comes to me. That's not who you go through. Ignorance would think that. Same thing in reference, you don't go through my ex-in-laws. That's not for you to use, to speak with me. That's my ex-in-laws, same thing. That's name dropping as well, by the way. Then there's my biological mother and or biological father and or biological sister. That's name dropping. Those types. And so, that, and those references, in comparison. And so that so I made attempts to clarify and verify and actually do so that would be assistive in a larger way 
However, you know, those children who were in high school that had their little temper tantrum issues in 2004, well, just think of children in high school in 2019, 2020, and 2021 for the hypotheticals in reference to the 2020 election cycle and to 2021. And then, you know, all the way backwards through elementary school. Because where it is known that I have done the best I can, that's those situations. But see, with the clarifications and verifications in full, not in part, in full. That's what's important. Ten Commandments, in truth, not in part, in full truth. Because that's the only way to actually be educated properly. That's the only way to actually learn in order to progress forward correctly. So if you don't do that by whatever needless involvement that was not invited, which is an irony in reference to that. Um, to keep in mind. So, hypothetically, whether in reference to what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle and or law enforcement, military, fire department, EMS, whether active duty National Guard Reservist veteran or dependent, and our civilians, and then recreational scuba diver types, the civilian sector. Those particular factors, well, you know. Those types, I mean, it does require getting that binky out. Compare. So, um, but I haven't actually needed to discuss it because that requires etiquette and respect in comparison to what some might think regarding my scuba diving. I gave the information before, but others had just been honest. But then that lets you know about the different type of scuba divers easily in those references from 2009 through now in 2022. Because that lets everybody know what type of civilian recreational scuba divers have been roaming about. And so, in those references of my work, well, that is as it is. But that's my work. So, that doesn't uh, translate very well when you think about my son, my daughter, as far as different situations, because why would civilian recreational scuba divers ever think about that age? common sense. And so again, between my scuba diving, my modeling, and not for anybody to ever discuss with my son or my daughter. It's only for you to discuss with me, common sense. What would that translate to if certain needless problems on U.S. soil, what would that translate to because of my scuba diving on U.S. soil, my son and or my daughter, the state of Texas, those situations, reference to me and my work, what would that translate to? Legally, whatever legal definition to take in consideration. So go to my website, www.susanmealing.com my journal blog, the Ornery PSA, there's other stuff, then there's all those factors. 
you know, maybe hypothetically those types of skeptical people wouldn't be such skeptics if they actually spoke with the one and only person to actually speak with in comparison to being arrogant, haughty, um, lustful in reference to certain factors, prideful as far as their arrogance in those references because how arrogant would you have to be to not speak with the one and only person that you could actually speak with that would actually show your ignorance and lack of intelligence in regards to any skeptic who would be capable to have actually spoken with. It would also go into your sloth and your gluttony and your haughtiness, your vanity over yourselves, to ever think that you would be better to ask two minor children or ex-in-laws or whatever in comparison to the one and only. That actually would show your lack of intelligence because you would show literally and metaphorically and phys figuratively for anybody in reference to my scuba diving ever going and speaking with my elementary school age children, I guess maybe that is your intellectual level in comparison of being capable to speak with me in person, face to face in person with etiquette and respect because nobody who would be skeptical that actually had intelligence would ever lower themselves if they had intelligence to an elementary school level age. They would go directly to the one and only person if they actually had the intellectual capacity to have that discussion because anybody that would be skeptical about my scuba diving that would ever go to lower level educational points wouldn't ever have the common sense to even see that their own intellect that they would hold so high above in comparison would actually be so far beneath because by technicalities, they would know that they couldn't actually speak the language of the intellectual aspects of superiority regarding the specifics as to my scuba diving being my own scuba diving and not my son, his scuba diving, he didn't do it. Not my daughter's scuba diving, she didn't do it, I did it, my scuba diving. So all of those individuals that would try to claim whatever as far as the hypotheticals regarding skepticism, well then what level did you lower yourself to? So for all of those people who have discussed their college degrees and or whatever in reference to instructor, well, that's nice. So if my son and my daughter were talked with in comparison to me, I mean, what does that say? I went from college algebra with trigonometry and calculus to second grade math. So, I mean, I guess maybe that's where you thought the whatever was in reference to intellectual capacities. So, you know, it's only been since 2009. I guess that would be the level of those people who would have contacted my elementary school age son and my elementary school age daughter about something that they would have absolutely no background in, no understanding in, no knowledge of, and weren't ever brought into that particular reference. So, you know, because I would have to do so. I didn't ever do so. Didn't have that chance during those times. So, you know, so that would pretty much blow any skeptic out of the water because if they were to ever wished that speaking with elementary school age children would be better as far as discussions about work that would only be my work and not theirs that would let those individuals know what lack of intelligence they actually had and how dare they ever be a skeptic because why would you ever think you were intelligent enough to be one because being skeptical translates to having the intellectual capacity to go to the individual that would actually be capable to explain things, to have a mature discussion. If you are incapable of doing so, whether in a in-person, face-to-face, in-person discussion or 
sending words through a message in writing with courtesy and etiquette as a contact, well then there's that in comparison. And so um, that would be what levels up. And then the common sense factors, in my opinion. So. Think about that regarding the civilian recreational scuba, scuba divers in the Carrollton Farmers Branch, DFW area, Texas. As far as those um, those types, hypothetically, but there was a mom in Capel, Texas, who had told me that her child and had certain situations that were similar regarding my daughter. And so I don't know if she was in scuba diving before. I wonder if there's a certain commonality where it comes to needless problems. If you got into scuba diving and you were single, was there any needless problems if you had children? And why so? What would that be? hypothetically, to look into. So go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com. Make sure to check out my journal and blog, The Ornery PSA, like my official YouTube video, share my official YouTube video links, and uh, subscribe to my official YouTube channel. You guys have a good day and do think about that.